Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Abby. I'm with Fitness is Medicine. Today we're going to do another great workout you can do in your home. Minimal equipment, minimal space, and easy to follow directions. So today we're going to need a set of um, medium to lighter dumbbells, a fit ball if you have one, otherwise you can do these exercises on the floor, a kettlebell or just a little bit heavier weight, and a smaller ball of some sort or a pillow or a balance disc or something like that. Okay, remember to come into these workouts warmed up and ready to move. Five to ten minutes of a cardio workout just to get your heart rate up, your muscles and joints warmed up and ready for movement, and your mindset ready for movement. Okay, so as you may guess, we're going to start with those dumbbells on the ball. Today we're going to walk out into a bridge and do chest flies. So if you don't have a ball, you can do a bridge on the ground um, just with your back flat, knees bent, feet flat on the floor, you lift your hips up into a bridge, and then you can do the same exercise without a ball. So if you do have a ball, walk out so that your head and shoulders are resting comfortably on top of the ball. Your hips are lifted so you've got a flat surface from your knees to the top of your head. Push those weights overhead. Now let them fall out to the side and then bring them back to the top. Chest flies. Now if you're having any shoulder pain with this, first try a lighter weight, but also you can bend your arms and make that lever shorter. Just keep that same bend in your arms throughout. Keep breathing. Nice and slowly. Seven, lift those hips. Eight, nine, and 10. All right, all the way to the top. Walk yourself back up and rest. Okay, I'm gonna move these weights so that they are racked and out of the way. It's always a good idea to make sure you're moving your weights out of the direction of where you are going to be. So I'm also gonna get my ball out of the way. And then I'm gonna grab my kettlebell here. Remember to always pick things up and put things down with good form. We're gonna hold that kettlebell or dumbbell right in between here. You can, if you're holding a dumbbell, you can hold one end shoulders down and back. We're going to do a kettlebell squat. So sitting back, you're just going to drop that weight right in between your feet. When you sit back into that squat, you want your weight and your heels and hips going straight back like you're going to sit down into a chair. Now you're keeping your back nice and flat as you go down, trying to keep your chest up nice and tall. As you go to stand up right here, squeeze your glutes to push yourself back up. Let's do three more. Really pushing back through those heels. Tummy nice and tight throughout as well. And rest. Okay, good. I'll put my kettlebell over here back out of the way. Remember, set it down with good form. Next, we're gonna do some punching. So this one doesn't require any equipment, but start with your feet nice and wide, your knees and hips are bent. Athletic stance, okay? So just kind of stick your hips back just a little, tummy nice and tight. Put your hands here, we're gonna do some punching. We're gonna punch up diagonally across your chest and up, and then down and down. So aiming uh, kind of towards the corners of the room and then outside of your feet. So let's start. One, one, two, up, up, down, down. Now your goal is to punch it you know, kind of hard. This is, a, this is a power move. Five, six, seven. Keeping that tummy nice and tight all the way through. Okay, that was 10 on each. So the next time you go through this, start with your other side. The final time you go through it, start down and then go up. So just kind of keep mixing it up. Make your brain work, make your muscles work a little bit differently. Keep it fresh. Okay, next we're going to lie down on the floor with this ball. If you don't have a ball, you can just do bridges, um, but we're gonna do bridges with the ball. So lie down, put your calves up on that ball, back nice and flat. Now we're gonna come up into a bridge and just hold it for like five seconds and come back down. 
So this requires a little stabilization. Now, the closer it is to your knees here, the easier that is going to be. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, you can stick it out a little further. So you can adjust it even every time. You're like, oh, that's a little much, I'm gonna bring it in. Put it out as far as you, even on your heels here, that requires the most stabilization. So you're really working your glutes and your hamstrings here. Keep breathing, let's do two more. Lift, squeeze those glutes. One more. And rest, all right, great. Now we're gonna stay on your back and grab that smaller ball or pillow or balance disc or whatever. And we're gonna do a core exercise. We're gonna pass the ball back and forth from your hands to your knees. So start with your hands over your head with that ball. Now, here's another exercise where you really have to focus on keeping your back flat to the ground here. I can't get my hand underneath my spine here. My knees are bent. Now I'm gonna pick my knees up, meet, and my arms and legs are gonna do the same thing each time. But each time you go, like here, I'm really, this is the point where you have to really focus on keeping your back flat to the ground. Breathe. Each time you can reset. So here it's easy to keep your back flat. It's kind of the position. And as you go away, really squeeze. Squeeze those tummy muscles. Press that back. Like I said, you can use anything here. I've got just a small little playground ball. You could use a pillow. Lots of different things you can use here. One more each direction. Up. Squeeze, 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 and rest. All right, good. Let's see. Now we're gonna stand up for the last one. So you've been on your back for a couple exercises. Flip over onto your hands and knees and give yourself a second so that you don't stand up and get lightheaded or dizzy. So in this position, make sure that you're not feeling lightheaded or dizzy before you go ahead and stand up. Okay, now we're gonna do a single leg stance. And I want you to kick your one foot forward and then kick it backwards. Now you're not really kicking, it's a controlled movement. I want this all to stay neutral. So your leg goes forward and your leg goes back. Now I'm staying in the middle here. So I'm not leaning back and then leaning forward. Forward, back. Now, if you can't do it without touching down, you could touch forward and then touch back. And also you can do it near something so that you can hang on if you need to, but forward, back. Really using all of the muscles in your feet on this standing side. So using all your toes, Think about putting equal weight all the way through all of your toes and your whole foot. Also keep that tummy nice and tight. Find a spot to focus on for your balance. Let's do one more forward and back. And then we'll switch. So you're also probably feeling it in that standing leg. This is a great hip stabilizer in addition. So balance requires a lot of different muscle strength. Keep breathing, keep that tummy nice and tight. Remember that standing leg is using all of your toes. Your entire bottom of your foot is engaging and working to give you the best balance possible. Let's go one more time, forward and back. And rest, okay, so that's shifting your weight a little bit, making you have to really adjust each time you take that foot forward and back. Okay, go through these one or two more times. Add a little cardio in between, bump up that calorie burn, get that heart rate working, get that heart working, and follow with a good cool down and stretch. If you have any questions or need any modifications, please feel free to reach out. Otherwise, have a great workout. We'll see you next time.